Hello everyone welcome in our channel, in this video we will explain room architecture components and make small app, like previous video login and register but with room database. In the previous video we make this app but with SQLite database, and we see how it's difficult to work with it, because SQLite very sensitive, and need a lot of code to create database, Android make a room persistence library, it is an abstraction layer over SQLite. The room is an ORM, object relational mapper for SQLite database in Android. It is part of the architecture components released by Google. The room makes using SQLite much easier for you by implementing annotations. Before beginning to use room you must know three main components, first on is, database, it is the main class that's annotated with a database. Be an abstract class that extends room database, second on is, entity, represents a table within the database. Third one is DAO, data access object. A mapping of SQL queries to functions. Okay let make some code to understand how it work, and how we can related this component with each other. We create new project, with empty activity. Then, then, add dependencies to app, build, gradle file, from room android developer website, copy this line. Create a new package called model, that will contain a class that have our entity. Now, let's create an entity called user, it's as a pojo class. Declaration a column name, we have four column in this app, user id, user name, password, email. Declare this class as an entity, a table is created within the associated database object to hold the items. Each entity must define at least one field as a primary key. Even when there is only one field, you still need to annotate the field with the primary key annotation. Also, if you want room to assign automatic ID to entities, you can set the primary key's auto-generate property. Now make a constructor, that contains all elements except id because it auto-generate, then make getter and setter. Next make a data package, that contain our DAO class. DAO classes data access objects are the main classes where you define your database interactions. They can include a variety of query methods, and it's a mapping of SQL queries to functions. This query to check if user will log in or existed in table or not, we will select all user from database, if you see previous video you will know how many code we reduce in this section by only one line of code. Now create the third components of room, user database its abstract class and extends from room database. On database we declare entities, and version will be 1, because it's the first vision of database. Now in main activity we will get instance from database, then make some code of XML, and make another activity for registration. I will speed this section because it's out of scope of this video. Get 
Get XML code from previous video to reduce the time. You can get this code from GitHub I will put a link in the description.
Finally you will get source code in the description. Thanks guys to watching my video, don't miss to make subscribe and like.